Hello and welcome. Often we say think positive. Be positive. What do you mean by this being positive or stay positive or think positive? I think it is just a mere mindset, the psyche. If you want to be positive, you can be. If you want to be positive 9 out of 10 times, you can still be positive. But my idea of thinking positivity or thinking positive about in the workplace is to be positive all the time right you cannot lose hope and give up so easily but people say they are positive most of the time i would say rather you can choose to be positive all the time how seven tips for thinking positively at work thinking positively at work has many mental and physical benefits an optimistic mindset can improve your mood elevate your confidence and increase your effectiveness in the workplace today we are going to see how we can discuss why we should think positively and explore steps you can take to start incorporating more positivity in your work life why thinking positively at work is beneficial when you maintain a positive mindset at work you may find your environment and day to day tasks more enjoyable by maintaining a positive outlook you can focus on areas of improvement and future goals rather than the challenges you are facing positivity also tends to influence others so you may also make your co-workers happier at work as well how to think positively at your job here are several tips to follow to think more positively at work number 1 appreciate the small successes one of the easiest ways to develop positive thinking at work is to find several small achievements to celebrate each day Noting successes could help you feel optimistic and more motivated. For example, if you have a major project to finish, focus on the last few tasks you have accomplished and be proud that you successfully have completed them all. Number 2, take time to cultivate positive thoughts. Consider taking experiences you may not normally enjoy and turn them into something productive and positive for example you can use time spent in traffic as an opportunity to prepare for the upcoming work day such as listening to recorded notes of your last meeting or a motivational speaker you may even begin to look forward to this time each day as you know you will spend it educating yourself so spend time for yourself number 3 make every situation a lesson learned when you finish a task or project take a few minutes to think about what went well and what you would like to change next time think about the challenges you faced and plan ways to work through them to make your next project more successful for example if you just finished managing a project you can think of three different strategies for future projects so you have options as you work towards your goals surround yourself with positive people making an effort to be around other positive people can help you think better about yourself and your environment you could do this by having lunch with coworkers who tend to be optimistic you know passing on the optimistic comments during your time with them you might bring up challenging projects and listen to their opinion on them they may present you with a new way of approaching the situation that you had not considered before number 5 use positive language a simple way to improve your positivity is to employ positive words to use in your workplace conversations examples of these words include accomplish believe encouraging energized generous 
kind optimistic progress rewarding using these and other words with good connotations can help you create a positive environment when speaking at a meeting you could say i believe we can accomplish this project successfully or i am encouraged by the progress we are making this can make you and your team feel more optimistic about an unfinished project or impending deadline number 6 express gratitude taking time during your day to reflect on the people events and accomplishments you are thankful for in a journal or planner write down five things you are grateful for each day you might find that you had a great workout at the gym that morning gave a successful presentation at work or enjoyed having lunch with a colleague recognizing the positive effect of these activities can be a great way to end your day another simple way to practice gratitude is by saying thank you during the day you can make it a goal to say this to three people while at work this could include thanking your secretary for planning a meeting expressing gratitude to your coworker for following up with a client or thanking your supervisor for their feedback about your performance showing gratitude for what others do for you can have a positive influence on others in the workplace number 7 write down three positive aspects of each situation one way to stay positive at work is to find three positive aspects of a challenging situation this is what i also call as my triangle theory this helps focus and make a difficult situation more manageable for example if you have a time consuming project write down three parts of the project you enjoy you might find that you enjoy the team you are working with or you learned a new skill seeing the achievements within your challenges can help you maintain a positive attitude so i'm sure with these rules and principles laid down for thinking positively at work can definitely bridge you to be positive all the time but my idea of being positive is to always come from within if you are planning your own work if you are happy about it and if you feel good to always discharge those duties with great energy enthusiasm and that you live by every day because that will be a everyday core a everyday routine as you have shaped up by making your psyche more positive over a period of time would definitely help you to bring the best in your job what makes a job a routine trap is getting into it and not finding enough energy or enthusiasm about working if you are finding so difficult to feel trapped in your routine job you need to always find that newness and freshness to come back to the job and discharge the same duties again and again and what can possibly help you to be positive is the hobbies that you indulge in the kind of uh, the work that you do other than your job the kind of family time that you spend mind those small small things that goes into making bigger ideas bigger world hobbies food be able to you know, respond to your family course or maybe small things to your colleagues help them out reach them out and be responsible rather than sleeping over any grudges any conflicts any difference of opinion and make it very straight if you believe put it communicate we are in the most dynamic environment of communication so even if there are differences you need to speak them out and make your colleagues or family understand your concern your interest because if you are wanting things to be as excited as it was yesterday and you want it to get repeated i think you need to have the same mind frame 
our framework working for you i hope with all these simple things that makes you positive all the time is the belief system is the value system is the ethics of you bringing from your personal life whatever that you bring from your personal life is the rub of the shoulder effect which is also seen in your professional life and whatever that you take home from your professional life is also the rub of the shoulder effect in your personal life so nothing stands in isolation except your own psyche your own way of thinking at things so basically the outlook needs to be positive and if you're positive both can be balanced in the fulcrum to make you get get going for a longer version of productivity and progress mind dwelling upon this enough practice it and you would definitely hone it at some part of time best wishes thank you